Hey everyone, finish watching the next episode of Power Rangers Mystic Force The Hunter. At the Rock Porium, Toby presents Nick with an employee award. We also learn the Rangers still don't trust Lily. In the Underworld, the remaining nine of the ten terrors start the selection ceremony. It chooses Oculus, a white armored monster with a single red eye who carries a massive gun. The other terrors are antsy and impatient, and some just want to attack regardless of their rules. Daggeron tries to warn Nick about his status as the Light, but Nick isn't particularly interested in hearing what he has to say. We learn he has some kind of connection to Fireheart. Udana has made camp elsewhere in the forest. She's trying to start a fire, but is having trouble without her magic. Suddenly, her campfire starts. She looks around and sees Claire. At the Rockporium, the Rangers question Lily. She insists she just wants to be treated as a normal person, but the Rangers are skeptical. They're alerted to Oculus appearing and hand all their responsibilities to Lily. The team confronts Oculus. Like Magma, he challenges them to a game. If he fails to demolecularize every ranger, they win. Suddenly, he disappears. Shots fire around the rangers. They try to find out where he's shooting from, but he appears to be everywhere. Nick gets hit in the leg, and Xander is demolecularized. In the underworld, one of the terrors, Megahorn, has left on his own. Daggeron is off in another dimension, training with Genji. Megahorn breaks through and picks a fight with them. Necroli spies and gleefully goes to snitch on Megahorn. With the rangers, Vita is hit next by Oculus, and the others scramble for cover. Nick offers to give himself up, but the others won't accept that. Suddenly, Madison is hit next. Only Chip is left, but not for long, as he gets hit too. Daggeron and Megahorn's fight is interrupted by Itasis, another terror. They take Megahorn back to the underworld after scolding him over breaking the rules. Nick is about to give himself up, but Phineas rescues him. He tells Nick that as the Light, it's his responsibility to defeat evil. Nick remembers what Daggeron said earlier. He calls on Fireheart and fuses with him, becoming the Red Dragon Fire Ranger. With this new power-up, Nick successfully defeats Oculus. The team returns to normal. The Rangers go back to work and find that Lily has now won the Employee Award. This episode is fine, but it's always felt kind of weak because... Like, this episode stands out to me because... Maji Ranger, back when it came out, I think was one of the very first Sentais I saw, along with Jew Ranger. And this episode, I think, might have been one of the first Maji Ranger episodes I saw that really stuck with me. In Maji Ranger, Oculus was a sniper who picks off the Rangers one by one, which isn't okay over here. Though, if we call him a hunter and skip over the Rangers being upset at losing team members, then it's fine. Huh. American TV standards are kind of bullcrap, aren't they? The Terrors definitely have the more interesting story going on, with some within the group loyal to their rules and others wanting to break them. Itasis is an interesting character, and I'm not sure if they're male or female. The voice is one of the few among the Terrors not to be loud and growly, so they're definitely easier to listen to than most. Some conversations among the terrors can be hard to follow since they all sound so much alike and their mouths don't always move. You know we are governed by the rules! Destroy the enemy at all costs! Watch your step! Daggeron really should be helping the rangers. It's strange that he's not even aware of what's going on. I think the dimension he and Genji are in should have been wherever Oculus is sending the rangers. Maybe he should have gotten shot first, and Megahorn thinks they should take that opportunity to kill him. That would streamline the plot and also obscure the whole sniper story the production crew wanted to avoid. Nick's battleizer is revealed, and while it's cool and all, I have a cynical feeling towards it. The reason it's introduced here is because all the other rangers have a reason to be absent, and that's the only reason any of the sniper plot remained. Nick's realization comes almost out of nowhere. I think he should have been shown to have more of a bond with Fireheart. Maybe Fireheart could have been with Nick after his friends are all taken out, and together they evade Oculus for a while, but then Fireheart is injured, and that's what inspires Nick to finally unlock Fireheart's potential. What's here is fine, it's just that it feels kind of hollow. For the third season in a row, the Battleizer doesn't really feel earned. It just gets dropped on the Red Ranger because he's the one Bandai is going to make a toy out of. Udana and Claire are now both off on their own, and neither really mean anything to the plot this time. Phineas is back again, but unfortunately he's just here to give exposition to Nick about why he's special. Overall, it's a decent episode, but a lot of little things build up that really irritate me. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Well, no one really cares about the bleed. Except maybe another blade. Okay.